Alright, so I haven't been able to do this video for a while because I've been, my throat's been all messed up again. But, um, yeah, so I've been bitching on Twitter about it. <laughs> so, Rocksmith 2014, I upgraded from the PS3 version to the PS4 version. And it's, and I, you know, got the sweet uh, Jimi Hendrix pack for free, uh, which was nice of them. But there is a snag if you're in the UK. <sighs> the EU PSN is fucking up. Okay, because they they only have 169 DLC songs or, pa or items for Rocksmith. Now, that may seem like a lot, and it is, but... Compare that to the 400 plus that the US PSN has. And you will realize very quickly that we're missing a shitload of content. And among this content is the original Rocksmith import pack, which has a whole bunch of songs on it. So this wouldn't be such a problem if it was new DLC content that no one had paid for previously. But it's content that people have already paid for. And at this point, it just kind of feels like withholding content that people have paid for, which is kind of shitty. So you go to Ubisoft about it. They have a thread that's dedicated to updates about it that they... You know, they update the thread whenever they can. And on the 4th of February, they're going to up upload uh, to the UK PSN uh, all of the packs that recently came out. But there's no word on any more legacy content. So, you you talk to Ubisoft about it. And it's like, we don't know what happened. We just sent them the files, and it's being uploaded when it can be. We don't know what the delay is. Then you talk to Sony uh, EU, and it's like, talk to Ubisoft. And then they're like, well, maybe it's a broad, broad, you know, a bandwidth problem. So someone on the forum went to Sony with that, and they were like, nope, talk to Ubisoft. So at the moment, there is no definitive answer as to why it's taking so long to get these onto the store. But <laughs> it's r absolutely ridiculous, because some uh, one week they had 40 plus DLC added in one go, and then another week they only had four. So there's really no excuse. I mean, maybe they're doing extra QA testing, but if that's the case, say it. I mean, I thought they did all the QA in Ubisoft, but if Sony does it as well, then just come out and say it. But... The, there's no real pattern to what DLC is up there and what isn't up there. It seems to be erratic because it's got old DLC. It's got some new-ish DLC. It So I don't understand what the delay is. But it would be really nice to just have a solid, concrete answer, answer as to why... The UK is not getting content that people have paid for. Like I said, I wouldn't mind if it was content nobody had paid for, but it's content people have already paid for, and it's being withheld for unknown reasons that nobody can seemingly answer. And it's been like this since December, apparently. And... <laughs> you know, since it came out for the PS4. So, what the fuck? And the original, you know, the Rocksmith original import is quite a lot of content, too. So, 
Where is it? I just want to know where the hell the content is. Is it... Is... Does Sony have it? Does Ubi have it? And they haven't... They're fucking up. Which I doubt, because, you know, they want people to buy their shit and hand over money. So, what's the deal? I mean, I know Sony EU has had a very... uh, They've had a... They've had a history of being... Of underperforming. And I've witnessed it. (laughs) And I've been very frustrated by it in the past. But over 200 pieces of DLC missing for unknown reasons is inexcusable. Especially when it's DLC that people have potentially already paid for. So, I don't know what the hell the problem is, but... It's it's probably one of my only gripes in moving from the PS3 version to the PS4 version. Because the PS4 version is superior in nearly every way. It's just this DLC problem for the UK that's really kind of pissing me off. So I would really like to know what the hell is going on with that. And actually get a concrete answer because there isn't any currently. And that's really frustrating as well. It seems everybody is not taking any sort of responsibility. And is just sending you off to the other one effectively. Sending you around in a circle. So, yeah. Other than that, if you're in the USA, Rocksmith on the PS4 is great. (laughs) If you're in the UK or your jurisdiction is for the EU PSN uh, you're kind of fucked right now I mean the free Jimi Hendrix DLC was nice but fuck DLC I've already paid for would be nice you know so I'm pretty displeased with that to be honest so I mean The whole, you know, 41 week for the other week, that shows that it's technologically possible to get all of these DLC up in a timely fashion and not, you know, next fucking year. (laughs) So, I don't, I don't understand it, but anyway, uh, dear, 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 dear. Thanks for watching, and I just had to get that off my chest. Alright, bye.